there are several immigration pathways to Canada for truck drivers. That is NOC code 7511. And we are going to look at seven of them in today's video. In fact, um, long haul truck drivers are one of the in demand occupations in British Columbia province, Saskatchewan, Ontario, and Alberta provinces. So if you are a long haul truck driver, that is your NOC code is currently 7511. Remember, they are going to be changing them next month as of the shooting of this video. Um, you want to stay at the very end of this video so that you can learn about these provincial nominee programs that is PNP for truck drivers who want to immigrate and settle permanently in Canada. So without much further ado, let's dive in and take a look at these provincial nominee programs for truck drivers. Um, if you are new here, welcome Karibu. My name is Eva Mutali and on this channel, we talk about how you can immigrate to different parts of the world um, either for work or for studies or just to live even without the help of a travel agent if you are new here we welcome you if you are a returning viewer welcome back we appreciate you on this channel so the number one pnp or provisional mini program for which truck drivers can immigrate to canada is the british columbia PNP for truck drivers. So the British Columbia, also known as BC, entry level and semi-skilled category is a way for workers in long haul trucking to gain permanent residence in British Columbia and mostly is through the NOC code 7511, that is truck drivers. So to qualify um, to move to Canada as a permanent resident, and as a truck driver under the British Columbia Provision of Mini Programs, you must fulfill certain requirements. And don't worry, guys, I will leave a link in the description box at the bottom of this video. You can look at them in depth, but I'm just going to mention a few. So number one, obviously, you have to show intention to live in British Columbia and you must have accepted a full time permanent job um, from a British Columbia employer in the long haul trucking sector okay and the best part with this are uh, all these pnp programs the um english requirement is a clb of four as the minimum so that makes it really um reasonable for somebody who wants to immigrate to canada as a truck driver then of course you're gonna need to have at least a high school diploma that is from inside or outside of canada if it's from outside of canada you're gonna have to have your educational credentials assessed Number two provincial mini program for long haul truck drivers is the Saskatchewan Experience Long Haul Truck Driver subcategory. So you can also apply to the Saskatchewan Immigrant Nominee Program (SINP) as a long haul truck driver under the Long Haul Truck Driver Project. So this subcategory allows trucking firms to bring long haul truck drivers to Saskatchewan. And um, some of the requirements that are needed for you to be eligible for SINP, Saskatchewan Immigrant Nominee Program, as a long-haul truck driver, you must have worked for at least six months um, of full-time work experience in your job as a truck driver. And then your work experience must be consecutive work experience. And then you must have a current Saskatchewan Class 1A driver's license. And you have to have a full-time permanent job offer from your employer who must be an approved trucking firm in Saskatchewan. And then, of course, um, your English minimum English requirement, you must get Canadian language benchmark, CLB4 or higher. And then, of course, you must have a valid SINP job approval letter. So again, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. You can check it out in detail in case you missed out any of those. Number three, provisional mini program that is PNP through which truck drivers can immigrate permanently to Canada is the New Brunswick truck driver PNP. So New Brunswick province has an immigration pathway for truck drivers under the New Brunswick provisional mini program skilled worker stream. And um, the best part with New Brunswick is that they have even published a guide for New Brunswick transport truck drivers, which outlines the eligibility requirements that truck drivers and businesses in New Brunswick must satisfy for you to immigrate to Canada as a truck driver. So number one, most important eligibility requirements include intent to reside 
in New Brunswick. Actually, this must be a genuine intention to reside in New Brunswick and not just New Brunswick, for all the provinces. If you want to um, move to any of those provinces, you must show intent to reside there once you move to Canada. Then, of course, you need a, you're going to need work experience. So to be considered, you are required to demonstrate that you have 24 months of work experience as a truck driver. And then you're going to need an offer of employment and you must be um, been offered a competitive wage, which is competitive with the New Brunswick wage rates for truck drivers. So guys, don't worry. You can see most, actually all of these PNPs require you to have a job offer. Don't worry. I am going to show you where to find these truck driver jobs in Canada. If you are based out of Canada or if you are an international um, candidate. Yeah. Number four PNP program for truck drivers is Nova Scotia PNP for truck drivers. So truck drivers can also move to Canada as permanent residents as um, through the Nova Scotia Occupations in Demand Stream PNP. Eligibility to apply under the Nova Scotia PNP for truck drivers is outlined in the Nova Scotia Occupations in Demand Stream application guidelines. And it includes number one, you must have a full-time permanent job offer from a Nova Scotia employer as a long haul truck driver before you can apply to immigrate to the, um, the Nova Scotia um, NSNP occupations in demand stream. And then um, you must show, of course, intent to live in the province of Nova Scotia. And also you need to be between the age of 21 and 55. You must have a high school diploma and you must have the training skills and credentials needed for your job as a truck driver. And then, of course, you must have worked 12 complete calendar months within the last 50, the last five years and a minimum of 1,560 hours as a truck driver. Number five in our list of PNP programs through which long-haul truck drivers can immigrate permanently to Canada is the Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program, that is OINP, in-demand skill stream for truck drivers. So through the OINP, Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program, employer job offer in demand skills stream a foreign worker can apply for permanent residence in ontario if they are an in-demand occupation in a specific sector such as trucking with a job offer in ontario so some of the requirements uh, for you to qualify under the ontario employer job offer in demand skill stream you must have a full-time and permanent job offer in ontario from a valid employer and um of course, you're going to need to have accumulated at least five months of relevant work experience while lawfully residing and working in Ontario in the three years prior to your application submission. And you must be able to understand, read, write, and speak either English or French at Canadian language benchmark level, CLB level four or higher. You must have a Canadian secondary school, high school diploma or credential or its equivalent from another country. So, guys, number six on our list of um, immigration programs through which truck drivers can permanently move to Canada is Manitoba PNP for truck drivers. So, through the Manitoba Promotion and Mini Program, MPNP, Employer Direct Pathway, Manitoba Trucking Companies can recruit a specific number of international qualified truck drivers. So, international in this context refers to any individual who is not currently a permanent resident or citizen of Canada, regardless of their country of residence. So long haul truck drivers, whether recruited through the LMIA process or directly through the employer services, must meet all of the following employer assessment criteria to be considered under the Manitoba PNP. So number one, you must be between the age of 21 to 50. You must have completed secondary school education. You must have minimum three years of continuous and verifiable documented work experience as a long haul truck driver in the past five years in a jurisdiction where the training, licensing or regulation of truck drivers is comparable to North American standards as determined by employer services and the Manitoba Provision Nominee Program. Okay, then you're going to need a CLB of at least five in all the four bands and you must have sufficient resources to establish in Canada. Number seven on our list is Prince Edward Island, Prince Edward Island PNP workforce category. Truck drivers can apply to Canada permanent residents through Prince Edward Island PEI, PNP workforce category. So what is required of you is at least 12 months of long haul truck driver experience. 
and you must have a job offer within an eligible PEI employer. Okay, and then in terms of age, if you're moving through the occupations in demand stream, you must have a full-time non-seasonal permanent job offer from a PEI employer. As a truck driver, you're going to have to have at least one year of work experience directly related to the job. You must be between the age of 18 to 59 years of age, um, CLB of four minimum, and you must demonstrate a genuine intention to settle in Prince Edward Island. So guys, those are the seven pathways through which a truck driver can immigrate to Canada. And in terms of where to find long haul truck driver jobs in Canada, if you've been here long enough, you know, obviously, number one, go to the Canadian government job back website. And you want to check this video up here, which is going to be the next video after this. I am going to show you exactly how to find long haul truck driver jobs in Canada as an international candidate and international in this context means anybody who is not a permanent resident of Canada or is not a citizen of Canada so you want to make sure that you watch that video to the very end so that you can know how to find truck driving jobs in Canada especially if you're based outside the number two um, place you can find long haul truck driver jobs in Canada is through the indeed.ca website indeed is a huge website and i like it because it lists the jobs per country and you can search even by visa sponsored jobs in canada and the like so you want to check that video last but not least you can visit the tracking company websites themselves so the individual tracking company websites you can track them visit them and apply on those websites directly so guys that's it for today in terms of the seven um, pathways through which long haul truck drivers can immigrate permanently to Canada. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave a sweet comment below and share it with all the truck drivers in your life. Thank you for staying up to the very end. I definitely look forward to meeting you on the next one. Bye guys.